This splendid painting of the Virgin Mary and her son Jesus Christ is by Raffaello Sanzio, who is popularly known as Raphael, one of the most famous artists of the Italian Renaissance. Raphael created an art of sacred radiance. This devotional image depicts the loving bond between the Madonna and Christ. Their spiritual affection is made visible to the presumed Renaissance Christian viewer by the harmony Raphael achieves in his forms and the unity of light that pervades his image. This intimately sized work was created around 1505 at a pivotal moment in Raphael's artistic development. Toward the end of 1504, Raphael's artistic ambition had brought him to Florence, which was one of the most vibrant artistic centers in Europe. When Raphael arrived in Florence, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo Buonarroti were already established as the city's leading artists. In fact, they were engaged in a creative rivalry. Raphael had come to Florence so that he could directly engage the artistic innovations being developed there. In this fertile environment, Raphael's art developed with rapid evolution and prolific invention. Raphael refined his visual method into the fully mature expression of one of the Italian Renaissance's greatest artists. When Raphael completed this work, perhaps by the summer of 1505, he was only 22 years old and had been in Florence for less than a year. However, looking closely at this painting, we can observe how Raphael had already begun to assimilate what he had seen in Florence, lessons about the movement of figures in space into his own art. Before relocating to Florence, Raphael had spent his youth in the humanist court of Urbino, and he had also been educated in the workshop of Pietro Perugino. Among the last generation of 15th century Italian artists, Perugino was one of the most innovative. If we compare Raphael's Madonna and Child with a painting by Perugino of the same subject, we can see how Raphael has adapted Perugino's graceful method. We can see this in the nobility and serenity of Mary's face. However, the comparison of these two paintings by Perugino and Raphael also demonstrates how far Raphael's art had already developed in Florence. Perugino's Christ child sits relatively motionless on his mother's lap. But Raphael's Christ is standing, and he is also stepping forward. While our attention is primarily drawn to the charming faces of Raphael's mother and child, this painting's most innovative element is the twist of Christ's body as he steps both forward and to our right. Christ is not just moving in one direction. He is simultaneously moving in two directions. He is both stepping forward and turning in space. This understanding of how forms, forms that have weight, move freely through space is something Raphael had learned since moving to Florence. Raphael has harmonized the serenity of Perugino's aesthetic with Leonardo's innovations in composition and the dynamism of Michelangelo's figures. This Madonna and Child, from the beginning of Raphael's Florentine period, forecasts his contribution to the history of the Italian Renaissance. This work already evidences Raphael's aesthetic method of tender piety. Raphael's painting fulfills its devotional purpose by transcending the commonplace without any loss of naturalism. 